Hey everyone, I made it back in time today in June of 1974 in Basel, Switzerland to discuss with you guys the Basel III Committee, how it was formed, and the implications it has across global capital markets. The group of ten nations here, which are the United States, France, Germany, Belgium, Sweden, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, Canada, and Switzerland, all met here under the Bank for International Settlements, or BIS, to discuss the quality of banking supervision and financial rules that would enhance stability in the financial markets overall. A need to strengthen the Basel II framework was apparent even before the financial crisis occurred in 2007. So Basel III was established as a response to improve upon the weaknesses and the three pillars that were created in Basel II. The Basel III proposals had two main objectives, to strengthen the global capital and liquidity regulations with the goal of promoting a more resilient banking sector, and to improve the banking sector's ability to absorb shocks arising from financial and economic stress, which in turn would reduce the risk of a spillover from the financial sector to the real economy. Basel III announced higher minimum capital standards for commercial banks. It improved risk management and governance, it strengthened the bank's transparency and enhanced the three pillars. These new rules established in Basel III contain important changes for banks' capital structures and has implications for both the order flow and trade flow variations in cash settlement tolerances across the markets. The first pillar of Basel III discusses the quality and level of capital. There is a greater focus on common equity as well. Another part of Pillar 1 of the Basel III framework involves risk coverage. Pillar 2 of the framework discusses risk management and supervision. Pillar 3 emphasized market discipline and revised the prior disclosure requirements. Another part of my paper, I had to discuss some of the implications this committee has across markets all over the world. Basel III would not only make banks more resilient to shocks in the financial system, but it would create more regulation in order for the capital markets to run smoothly. The risk to the economy and global markets can be reduced if these new policies are implemented correctly and used at the right times. A safer marketplace and overall financial system are possible with the Basel III framework. Liquidity ratios, leverage ratios, minimum capital requirements, and a higher PE ratio are just a few of the ways Basel III's implementations have an impact on monetary policy and risk exposures across global markets. The better informed we are about these banking regulations, the better chances we have to create a safer financial system. Ongoing monitoring of these reforms and research to solve the unanswered questions will be necessary for future success. Now I've got to head back to class where I'll explain to you guys a chart.